If you visit a Wake County school during the upcoming school year, you'll have to check in using a system like this, located in the office. You will still interface with um, the receptionist at the school. It's not something that is like a, uh, a unit that's going to sit outside where you just interface with that and nobody sees you and it gives you access to the building. You'll enter your name and phone number and in most cases scan an ID. It performs several different background checks, but to include the sex offender registry, which is a state level check that will hit every all 50 states. People who don't have an ID with them can provide their information to the receptionist to enter into the system. As long as someone can identify you, and that doesn't require a document to do that. If the background check is clear, the system will take a photo and print a badge. If not, it will notify people within the school who are assigned to handle the situation. The system will be used at every school in the district, and the systems will communicate with each other. If I go to XYZ High School and I've got a kid at the middle school and there's something that pops up that prohibits me from going to one or the other, the units will tell each other that I'm prohibited to go anywhere in the district. When we trespass folks or they have a domestic protective order or some type of custody, we can start building databases now because they're networked that will flag folks um, across the district.